Hello, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about how to create a shared image gallery. Image gallery is nothing but uh, the Microsoft Marketplace gallery, gallery where we have to push our customized image uh, so that we can utilize that image for the multiple deployment in our organization. Uh, we can publish it on the marketplace so other people can also join but we can also control uh, using the RBAC so who can access it or not. Shared image, image gallery feature has a multiple uh, uh, resource type. Uh, let's discuss about all those uh, resources available in the gallery. So these are the resources like uh, image resource, image gallery, image definition and uh, image version. <laughs> So what's the uh, image resource? So image resource like, you know, what will be the resource from uh, we are going to create our custom image. If you see here on the uh, on the um, description, so uh, so we can create it using the manage disk or the disk snapshot or the VM version that we are going to manage. Okay, so uh, out of this uh, resource type we can create the image and what what exactly the image gallery uh, it's like a marketplace and image gallery is resp uh, repository to manage and share the image but control who can access it as i said we can control it using the rbag the image what is the, then, then the next part is the image definition so what exactly is that image definition so image definition nothing but the you know couple of information that we are going to pro uh, provide while creating the image so that's include uh, uh, what type of image it is it is windows or the linux or the release node that we need to publish with that particular image and uh, what the minimum and maximum memory required when we want to spin up the vm using that particular uh, uh, image so is there any dependency so that we can you know define in the uh, image definition and the last is the image version so image version is uh, uh, to you know to calculate uh, to, to track your uh, images version like you know 0 0.11 uh, and uh, 0.112 or maybe 1.001 like what what kind of that version is that you can you know, track using the uh, image versions so let's move on the portal and uh, try to create this. Uh. So now I am on the Azure portal. On this global uh, search panel, you have to type the image, a uh, shared image gallery. So you will get this option. And here you have to create the gallery for your images. So just click on the create button. You have to specify the resource group where you want to keep. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, where is my uh, VMs and other things? So this what? Just provide the name for this image gallery, and I will give it like internal. And let me choose the location as for my convenience, where my images and other resources are. And if you want to provide some description here, so you can feel free to. Uh, provide the details. So I'm just you know, reviewing it and uh, asking uh, uh, Azure to create it for me. So let it validate uh, the configuration. Now it's saying that validation is passed. Let create. So if you see that our uh, shared image gallery is created, let me go into the resource. We will see here this what our shared image gallery. Now what next? Now we have to create a image, a new image definition. Let me click on the new image definition, and here I will again correct the location. Now you have to provide here the name for your image definition. So your name should be uh, matched to your requirement. Let me fill all the details and I will explain you. So if you see here, I have filled the detail like uh, image definition. I have provided my organization name, image definition and uh, 
what kind of uh, image that we are going to create out of this uh, uh, definition so it's a linux base version 1 or version 2 you have to decide uh, according to your base image so my image that we have uh, uh, exported uh, the captured image snapshot that's what the general one uh, here is the cache like you know what type of your image is that is it generalized or specialized so what's the difference in between these two so if you uh, you know take the generalized version so in generalized version your uh, your username uh, and the password will be uh, will be removed and if it is specialized uh, image have not been go through the process of removal the machine users and their other information so always i will prefer to uh, use the generalized one so that's better uh, we can you know remove the existing user from that but if you're uh, already install application required some kind of user uh, need to be there then we can go with the specialized so uh, once you fill these details uh, you just you know click on review and create or validation is passed let me hit on the create button so it will create the image definition for us uh, our image definition resource is uh, ready to use let me click on go to resource so this is what our image definition so now from the uh, image uh, definition we have to create uh, uh, create a new image version so let me click on uh, here on the bottom create a new version so here we will get an option to create a new version so a region uh, would be my one is central us where i have uh, the image and if you see here let me open the new uh, um, portal tab so that i can show you the image that we have exported in the earlier lesson so this is what the image uh, that we have exported and i do have a snapshot also we can you know spin up the uh, uh, version through the snapshot or the image but let's prefer this version because i feel that you know people are confused like how we can use this particular uh, image version rather than uh, everyone knows that you know how to utilize this snapshot so we are going to use this image okay so let's move into the tab here if you see uh, the version that we have to specify let me assign the version 1.0.0 and it should be using the manage images this is what the image that we are managing we already you know take the uh, we, ca we captured the snapshot of the image so i'm just using this one and if you remember in you know, uh, for this particular uh, image we have uh, nginx install on this image and uh, we can you know test the accessibility of nginx once this particular vm when we created it okay so other information is not uh, uh, not required so i'm not going to pass those uh, de uh, details here but if you want to do it in the production you just you know pass all this information so I'm just reviewing it and I will create it. Now the validation is passed. So let me create it. Now it's spinning up the resources for us. So we need to wait for a, a minute so that it will uh, complete the work for us. Our resource uh, uh, is created the version of our image. Let me click on go to the resource so that we are able to see the version so it's it's 1.0.0 you can create a vm out of this version you can create a vmss out of this vm so i hope uh, you, you are aware about the what is the v, uh, single vm and the vmss okay so we have option to create it uh, from here if you want to create a new virtual machine you can just go into the virtual machine just click on the create click on the virtual machine creation uh, option and uh, here if you provide uh, some details and when you come here so it automatically taking your uh, image here 
but if you want to go and to see all images let's it appear for us so in a marketplace you will get option here my images so here you will get the images that that's available but if you want to create it out of your, the image that you have created that shared image this is what the image the uh, image definition that we have created and other things okay so you can uh, uh, click here so it will take that particular image you have to fill uh, other details required details and uh, and, I, and you can you know create it so let me fill all these details so i have fill all the details what i did i have created the new resource group here uh, like you know with this deployment uh, the resource group will be created with the name uh, demo vm uh, resource group and our vm name we are going to provide like demo vm and the image that we have created shared image so i'm just pick that image after that i have selected the authentication method that is password based not sss based where i provided the password and uh, in the inbound section i have added one more port that is 80 because uh, we have application running nginx application running on the base image and that we have to test right so i am not going to touch any other details if you want to go through all these details so i have the another video where i have explained about uh, how to configure or create the vm so you can refer this i'm just for this demo I am just creating this one. So validation is passed. Let me click on the create so it can create a virtual machine for us out of the uh, image definition that we have created. If you see here our VM is ready. Let me go on to the resource and check the status. Is it running or how? So if you see currently this VM is running and this got this particular public IP. So as I said, we have the application running here. That is nothing but our Nginx uh, uh, server. So let's press enter here. If you see here, Nginx server is running on this server. So this is how it will help us to carry whatever the golden image that we picked up so uh, out of that we can you know, create our vm and vms so we feel uh, move those uh, particular image into the shared image and across our your organization everyone can utilize that particular vm as a base vm for, for creating the resources so that's it for this lecture guys we'll meet in the next thanks